What's going on, Cloud Scholars? I hope your day is going well. My name is Kieran Truss, and I'm excited to be back with this ethical hacking video where we're going through storage blob hunting. Um, so part one was what is storage, um, what is blob hunting? Um, and then also from a theoretical standpoint of um, how do blob hunt, explaining that. Part two was uh, the prerequisites, right? Um, this is installing the Azure modules, installed in the microburst, and then also getting your storage account set up, um, and then your virtual machine. Now, you don't necessarily need to use a virtual machine. You can use your desktop. I chose to use a virtual machine on my end. I'm running a Mac. I just thought it would be a little bit easier doing it on a Windows machine. And then now, part three, I'm going to really go in and do deep dive on how we're going to go about this blob hunting. So the great thing about this microburst program is, you know, uh, it's helping you enumerate and find out what um, storage accounts are out there. Now, I do want to point out, I know I mentioned it before, this is ethical hacking, right? I am showing you this so that this way you can be better at cybersecurity and you can be more knowledgeable and hopefully you can make more money um, protecting an organization or you start your own company and you can now go out and explain why you set things up a certain way in Azure. I am not showing you this to do anything other than that. So I am not your lawyer. I am not a lawyer. Um, so just pointing that out there as a disclaimer, this is for ethical happy, hack and educational purposes. Now, back at the PowerShell command, if I wanted to find a storage account, I can go about and say resolve DNS name, and I would go about with the storage account. So I believe ours is uh, storage locator 23blob.core.windows.net. So I got the name wrong. So it's storage locate. Okay, so that's how you resolve a DNS name. And if you wanted to do it this way, you can, but this is going to take you a long time. But what we are going to do is we're going to do invoke enumerator. Nope, sorry. Enumerator So what we're going to do is we're going to do invoke enumerate base and right here we're going to put in quotations and we're going to going to type in storage and I'm just going to do storage for now permutations and this permutation needs to follow follow find the file right so we have this my permutations file which I created a text document and I just put a bunch of keywords in here. So these keywords is what it's going to enumerate and say, okay, storage test, storage maker, or I might say maker test, maker ready. Sorry, not maker test. Uh, it will say maker storage or storage maker. It kind of goes in the front or the back, but it's just kind of going through this keyword document to kind of find out, hey, can I make mix and match the information from what you put in here to find a storage account? So what I need to do is now say, hey, this is where that document lives and I can do something like I should have found it so why isn't it finding it so my permutations text so I'm going to press enter and you can see it says enumerating containers for storage windows dot uh, storage account storage dot blob and what it's doing is saying, okay, storage.blob, it found one, it found a test storage, it found storage test, it found maker storage, it found ready storage. And what do we have here? Do we have the word ready? We have the keyword ready here. And it found city storage and it has found storage 45. So I found a bunch of their storage accounts. If your storage account did come up here, I apologize. Um, I'm only doing this for um, educational purposes. So I do apologize for that if your storage did come up here. Uh, please, Cloud Scholars, do not do anything malicious. This is for educational purposes. Um, so let me stop that. So we really wanted to find this storage locate 23. So what can we do? So let me come here and put 23. And I'm going to type in locate 2. And let's see what happens next. Oh, didn't mean to press that. Let's do file save. 
So now I'm gonna just do up and I'm gonna press it again. And let's see, does it find it? Storage 45, ready storage, maker storage, storage test. So it's still not finding it, but you can see it found a bunch of different storage accounts. So um, what's the next thing that we can possibly do here? Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna stop this from enumerating and I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna change this up a little bit. So let me type in the word L O C A and let's see if it comes up with anything. Nothing. So I'm actually gonna type in the word storage locate. And look, storage locate 23. So it was able to find our storage account because it's doing storage locate 23. So let's just say in a perfect world, you know, we found a storage account or whatever. What is one of the next things that we'll do? So what we can do is what we can do is we can look at some API commands and we can see if we can find, if we can list the storage accounts. What do I mean by that? So if I come up here, I already have list blobs, rest API. And basically this command here, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, see if I can zoom in a little bit more. Oh, that's way too much. All right, so what I wanna do is I wanna show you this where it says you can construct the list blobs request as followers. So if I put in my account, which is the storage account, blob.core.windows.net, my container rest uh, type equals container at and comp equals list. So this is the information that it's gonna look at and this is where you need to put, you could put the guessing game for your container. So if I come over here and I say, all right, I know what this is, storage locate 23 blob.core.windows.net. So let me see if I can take this, if I could copy it, and I'm gonna come up here and I'm gonna paste that good. And then what I need to do is I need to get this back end information. So I'm gonna come here, grab that information, come back over here, and I'm gonna just put that in there, which that's gonna give me all the stuff. So um, if I press enter, I shouldn't get anything. The account is being accessed, does not support HTTP, request ID, blah, 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 blah. But I don't have a container called my container. If we come back over to the Azure portal, I have a container called finance records. Now, obviously we know our container name, so um, it's a little bit different for us, but I'm just showing you this as if this was somebody who was trying to get into your information. So if I were to come back here and it's called finance records, look, I'm able to pull up all these different containers now, right? So it's showing me all these different information. So it says blobs, blob, and the name of the document is address.docs, right? And it's giving me the whole URL here. So if I were to come here, and if I were to type this out and take the same information and I were to come over here and I would have pressed the same thing, look at that, it's giving me the documentation. So it's address 555 Alpine Road, Staten Island, New York, right? I just made that up by the way. Now, if I were to come back over here and I were to come to this one, this is another one, right? This is another blob that's showing up right here. So this, the name of this document is secretinfo.docs. Ooh, so let's see what we have in secretinfo.docs. If I were to come over here to this URL and I would say copy, and I'm just gonna come over to this same one, take that out and press enter. We have another Word document and it's a social security number this time. Okay, cool. So we got that. And then finally we have here, we have a JPEG. So this one is called cute dog. And if I were to come over here and I'm gonna copy this and I paste it and press enter, look, I got a picture of a bunch of cute dogs. So just to show you, this is how the enumeration works and this is how you would use the micro burst. This is a very powerful tool. Right, there's a lot of different things you can go through and learn. Um, there's stuff for beginner guide to gathering Azure passwords. 
get Azure passwords, expire at Azure runs, certificates, certificates for persistence. There's a lot of different things that you can use with this. Um, I haven't used all of them. Um, I do plan on going through and learning about it and kind of messing around with the tool. So um, I do plan on probably even using some in a video just to show you some more stuff to kind of help you out and keeping your environment safe. So we are able to, um, uh, I showed you exactly how you can kind of go through with this enumeration and figuring out, hey, um, if anything's going wrong with your Azure, um, your, your accounts, um, of how you can set that up. Um, in the next video, what I really want to do is I want to show you um, how you can use Microsoft Defender for storage um, to find out if somebody did go through your storage account. Um, to find out if any information was extracted. Then I also want to show you the activity logs as well. Then I'm going to wrap up the video with showing you how to, to defend your environment to keep it safe. So um, you already went through part one in the video, which is the introduction. Part two was just the uh, prerequisites. Part three was actually showing you how to use microburst, essentially, and then use an um, uh, REST API so that this way you can get the information. The one we were referring to was this list API right here, um, which is showing you exactly how you can pull that information. And then in the next and final video is just really showing you exactly how you go about defending that um, information. So um, I'm gonna cut this video short right here. Um, we covered a good amount in this video. I hope this information was beneficial to you. Please continue to watch part four. Uh, please leave your comments um, in the, uh, comment section below. Um, as always, if you haven't liked or subscribe, please, um, subscribe, please like, um, this video. I really appreciate it. And just let me know what your thoughts are. So as always, um, our goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time. <laughs>